So leadership is an important thing and I want to share in today's video how so many of us have been getting this wrong and how I've been getting this wrong personally. When it comes to leadership, most people look at leadership and they say, you know what, I want to be the leader, I want to be first, I want to be able to do all of this different kind of stuff. But over recent months and years, I believe that the Lord has been ministering to me more and more. Why? Because I've been seeking how to be a better leader and I believe God has been faithful in, to my prayers. And I've been searching more and more, look, God, how can I be a better leader? How can I do this, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. One of the things God started to show me was that, look, leadership isn't about who's first or who gets the recognition or who his name is up in bright lights. Leadership is about service. And as I began to think about this, I didn't like it. I didn't want to hear it. Why? Because I started to realize that the way we see leadership, although we've, we've come to see leadership in today's day and age, We've gone away, we, we haven't seen it in the way Jesus Christ was teaching us about how to be a leader. So the fact of the matter is, Christ gave us a great example. So when you recall back to the Last Supper, okay, a famous event in the life of Christ with him and his disciples, and what did he do? One thing he did is he basically washed the disciples' feet. Jesus said something to his disciples which was really key. He said, and he said unto them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and they that exercise authority upon them are called benefactors. So he's basically saying here that, look, there's kings out there, and then basically you've got helpers or servants. But what does he say about his disciples and his followers? He says, but ye not so, but he that is greatest among you, let him be as the younger. So what does that mean? The person that should be higher, let him come down. Why? And he that is chief, as he that doth serve. The one that is the leader should be the servant, should be the, the one in service. And it continues, but whether greater, he that sitteth at meat or he that serveth. So who's greater? The person that's sitting and arranging the meal or the person that basically is working for the person that arranges and owns the meal. Not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. So Christ goes on basically by saying, look, as I've given you this example as I'm the greatest, okay, but I'm serving you, I'm washing your feet. In the same way, okay, when you go out to lead in whatever capacity it is, you serve. And when I thought about this, as God started to minister to me about these different scriptures and show me this stuff, I started to think to myself, well, this isn't what the world says leadership is. Leadership is everyone serves you. Christ is saying, no, the opposite. Leadership is you serve everyone. You serve as much people as you can. So I begin starting to try and do this in many different ways in my in my marriage. I begin trying to serve, not in the sense that now I'm a slave to to my wife, but in the sense that I I I go around and look at my wife and I say, look, where are you struggling? Where do you need help? How can I help you? How can I help you lift this thing up? Why? Because that's a form of service. I go around with my children and say, look, you know what? It's not always about discipline. It's not always about being authoritarian. It's not always about like being standoffish. There's times for different things in parenthood. But I say to myself, okay, how can I serve my daughter? How can I serve my two sons? How can I help them get better and better and better? And when you think about it from this standpoint, the mindset changes because it's not no longer, okay, look, how is my wife going to serve me? Okay, how is my children going to serve me? How are, my, how are the people that help me in my business going to serve me? How can I help them? And once you switch the narrative from looking at other people and you look at yourself, what happens? You get better because you want to get better. Okay, and then as you're getting better, you can help other people get better. The fact of the matter is, Christ came to serve. He came to help people. And as his disciples, as believers in him, in his name, we're supposed to come after and do the exact same thing. We're supposed to serve. Now, this might not be the message that we want to hear carnally, because we're carnal and we want to be served. The disciples were arguing amongst themselves, who should be the greatest? James and John, two of the most prominent disciples, based on what we read in the scripture, were going back door to Jesus and saying, look, let us sit on your left and your right hand in your kingdom. And the other disciples were angry at them because of that. The fact is, what were they doing? They were trying to lift themselves up. Jesus said, look, it's about service. Okay, Those places are for those that have been appointed. And the fact of the matter is, it's all about service. What did Christ do? Christ came and gave us the example. He came and died for us. What did he do? He served. In the last supper, hours before his death, what did he do? He took his garment off, wrapped himself in a towel and started washing their feet. And said, look, as I've done this to you, you go and do this to other people. Now, how can you go about and wash other people's feet as an act of service and leadership? I made a video about this, about batch recordings. I'll link it in the description box below. But the point is, I had this big archive of videos ready to go out every week but why I, I, I went away from that because I said you know what there's people that need to serve I don't want to wait five six weeks to release a video that I know can help someone today
we talked about this in another video where someone was commenting on one of our popular videos at the time um and i'll leave that in the link in the description box but it was two videos one of the videos talking about it and the other video answering the question but the point is we're here to serve i'm here to serve who's this for is it just for those that are in um authority in regards to the church no this isn't just about pastors and teachers and evangelists and apostles and all those different roles and all that kind of stuff today it's not just about the parent it's not just about the husband or the wife or um, the person that's the CEO of his business or her business or whatever it is it, all of these different situations it's not about that we're, we're, serve, we're in service in so many different places in so many different aspects but it's about are we paying attention are we seeing if you if you're an older brother if you're an older sister if you're an auntie if you're an uncle if you're a dad if you're a mum, if you're um, a teacher if you work somewhere and you've got people working under you all of these different scenarios if you've if, you, if you've got a friend that trusts in you okay and you've got influence over them how can you serve them the fact is the more and more we we exhibit this language of love i did a video about this recently as well about love what love is i'll link it in the description box below but the point is how can we serve? The more we serve like Christ did, the more we can impact people on a day-to-day -day basis. People respond to love, especially in a day and age like today. Why? Because they don't see love too often. They see hate, they see madness, they see, they see kill. That's all they see. But when people start showing love, yes, in certain aspects, they see, they see change. They get change. Why? Because they see someone doing something genuine that they don't see all the time. So if you like this video, why don't you watch this video right here? It's a great video for you to watch. Based on some of the things we just talked about in today's video, we talk about love in a little bit more detail. So I'll see you on that video. Thanks and take care.